children i jagriti welcome you all in the math class today before starting the topic i am going to show one activity all the students you watch the activity carefully this is the plate and in this plate 24 chocolates are there and and there are five bowls and in this bowl we have to put the chocolate in equal number of pieces okay first i am going to put one chocolate in each bowl now in the starting i have 24 chocolate and i put one chocolate in each bowl that means 24 minus 5 19 chocolates are there in the plate again i am going to put one more chocolate in each bowl 1 2 3 4th bowl 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 
chocolates left over is food it is called remainder it is called remainder so dear children division means equal sharing or equal distribution of the number and number of toffees the number to be divided is called dividend here we are going to distribute 24 chocolate four balls we here we are going to put the 24 chocolates in the four balls this 24 is called dividend so what is dividend dividend is the number to be divided dear children in this video number 1 of chapter 5 i am going to explain division what is division division is the equal distribution of object here we are distributing 24 toffees toffees and in how many balls in five balls in five balls we are keeping the 24 chocolates in equal amount after putting the chocolates in the bowl we have found that four chocolates are left over on the plate that left over chocolate is called remainder and number of balls is called divisor and number of toffees in each bowl is four is called quotient we are children in the division we are using generally four terms first term is dividend first term is dividend second term is divisor third term is quotient and fourth term is remainder dear children the number to be divided is called dividend dear children the number to be divided is called dividend here 24 toffees is called dividend and we are distributing this 24 toffees in five balls is called divisor and after distributing the chocolates we are able to put four chocolates in each bowl that four is called quotient answer of division is quotient and number of balls the number by which we divide the dividend is called divisor and 24 is called dividend dividend that means division sum is 24 divided by 5 is equal to 4 here 4 is the quotient here 4 is the quotient and number of chocolate left over that means remainder remainder is equal to 4 that left over chocolate is called 4 in this way we will learn how many number of terms in the division in the division there are four terms dividend divisor quotient and remainder and the number to be divided is called dividend that means dear children i am going to explain one technique that the bigger number is the dividend in the division and we are distributed a number of groups is called divisor answer of division is quotient and the number which is left over after the division sum or after dividing the number is called remainder here four chocolates are left over it is called remainder now i am going to explain how to divide a number by single digit Here the sum is seven hundred eighty-eight divided by six. Dear children, seven hundred eighty-eight is the dividend. Seven hundred eighty-eight is the dividend, and we have to divide by six. We have to divide by six. And here I am going to write down the question. Seventy-eight divided by six. Now six divisor is the single digit number. So first we will take the first number. And we will compare the number with divisor. Here seven is greater than six. That means division is possible. We will start the table with six. Six one just six and six two just twelve. We will divide by one times. Six one just six. Seven minus six one. And next number is eighteen. Now 
we will divide 18 by 6 and we will start the table of 6. 6 1 ja 6. 6 2 ja 12. 6 3 ja 18. That means 18 can be divided by 6 by 3 times. 6 3 ja 18. Now the last number is 8 6 1 ja 6. And here that number is called cosine. That number is called cosine. That means 131 is the cosine. And 2 is left over. Remember is 2. All of you write down in the copy. This is the division sum. And in the earlier I have shown the activity also. By activity, by doing activity I try to explain division. Now all of you write down this question and try to solve in the Copy and after that you will write down the definition of dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. So first of all take out the copy and write down the heading dividend. Start. Dear children, all of you, um, it is the flow chart of division. The terms which is used in division, all of you draw this flow chart in the classwork copy. In the division, first term we will use dividend and dividend means number to be divided. Dear children, listen carefully. Dividend, dividend means number to be divided. Second term we will use in the division is divisor. Divisor, divisor means the number by which we divide. Third answer of division is called quotient. And fourth term is remainder. That means number left over after division. All of you, this flow chart you will draw in the classwork copy. And after that, I am going to explain properties of division. Start. In the property of division, first property is if you divide a number by 1, we will get the number itself as the quotient and remainder is 0. Property of 1. All of you write down in the copy. If a number is divided by 1, the quotient is the number itself and remainder is 0. All the students will know that when we divide any number by 1, we will get the number itself as a quotient and as an answer and remainder is 0. Start. The second property of division is if you divide a number by the same number, the quotient is 1. Dear children, these rules you have to write down in the copy, this property. If a number other than 0 is divided by itself, the quotient is 1. For example, 2367 divided by the same number 2367 is equal to 1. Third property is if you divide, the, if 0 is divided by any number, the answer is 0. If 0 is divided by a number, the quotient is 0. 0 divided by 914, answer is 0. All these properties 1, 2, 3, you will write down in the copy. Now I am going to explain property 4. Third. Now the fourth property is Every division fact has a multiplication fact. I am going to explain. All of you write down in the copy. Every division sum has a division and multiplication fact. For example, I am going to write down one example. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Dear children, this division sum is called division fact. Division Fact. And here 12 is the dividend, 3 is the dividend, 4 is the divisor, and 3 is the quotient. When we are going to multiply quotient and divisor, 4 multiplied by 3, we will get the dividend as a product. 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. It is called multiplication fact. That means Every division fact has every division fact has two multiplication facts. Or you can say that division fact is the reversible of reciprocal of the multiplication fact. Twelve divided by four is three. Or you can say that 
you can say that 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. These are the two division facts. And every division fact has multiplication fact. 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Or you can say that 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. That way, in this way, we learn four properties of division. First is property of property by one. Properties of one that means any number divided by one, we will get number itself. Second property is property of itself. That means if you divide the number by the same number, the quotient is one. Third is property of zero. If zero is divided by any number, the answer is zero. And fourth property is every division sum has multiplication fact and division fact. Now all of you take out the copy. I am going to give the homework right down in the class one copy. This is the homework exercise 5a. Question number 1, you have to solve only one question, A, and question number 2 is the fill in the blanks. You have to solve all the questions in the class 1 copy. Start. Dear children, in this video number 1 of chapter 1, we learned division and properties of division. Thank you.